Hi, Hi YouTube. YouTube. As you can see, I have a lovely guest with me here today. Um, I did this makeup tutorial for you guys. Fairly simple look, easy to do, mostly neutral. There is a small pop of color in the waterline. Um, very easy to do. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see how to get this look on your pretty little faces, that's key for you. Okay, you guys, we're going to start with this NYX eyeshadow base in white. I'm going to take this fluffy, angled, round brush here, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I have already applied a primer underneath this. I apply my primer when I do my brows, so that was done off camera. I'm just going to really blend that in. It's going to, of course, allow our eyeshadow to stick, to last all day. And if we blend it out properly, it's going to ensure that our eyeshadows don't crease. That's why I'm going to really, really get it blended out here. And the first eyeshadow shade I'm going to go to is this matte orange, the second one over from the left. I'm going to put that into my crease as a transition shade and blend that in real good. I really love how an orange comes out as a transition shade on my skin tone. So I've been doing that lately. I used to just use like a brownish color. Um, I'm going to take this same brush and go into this dark brown here. And I'm going to move my brush down a notch. And I'm going to add that to my crease. And blend that in with my transition. And just use it to create a little bit of depth there. Now I'm going to be taking a small flat shader brush. I'm going to go into this beige color and I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to add that right into my arch on the brow bone. Then I'm going to blend it towards the front and the end of my eyebrow. And I'm going to use this same brush to kind of blend it out a bit. And just try to kind of make that be more seamless. Then I'm going to switch to my blending brush. I'm not going to add any product. I'm just going to use it to kind of diffuse that line a little more. I'm going to take an angled fluffy brush and go into this plum color. And I'm going to blend that into my outer V. I feel like I like the word blend today. I'm going to apply that to my outer V. <laughs> and I'm going to drag it into my crease just slightly. And I'm going to take a large flat shader brush and go into this champagne color. And I'm going to use that as a lid color. I'm going to try my best just to keep that on the mobile lid and not go into the crease at all with this. And I'm going to build up this color until I get the payoff that I want. And now I'm just going to go back to my blending brush and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend until it um, just looks as seamless as I would like it to. I, I really don't think you can blend too much. And I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and black cream liner by e.l.f. and apply that and lashes off camera. And I'm going to go in with this Inika eyeliner pencil. It is certified organic in this frosty green color from my BFF Marie. And I am going to apply that to my waterline. I'm going to take a black pencil and just apply that to my tight line. Make my lashes appear fuller. I'm going to be taking this mascara um, False Lashes by MAC. This is in false black, and I'm just going to use that on my lower lashes here. I really love this mascara. It makes your lashes really pop. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. blush in pink passion. It looks really, really bright in the pan, but it does not come out that bright. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. I really, really love this color and the way that it comes out. Next, I'm going to be taking this bronzer product by Maybelline in Bronze Tapestry. And I'm going to use that to highlight my cheekbones as well as my chin. 
I'm actually using the wrong brush to highlight. I couldn't find the brush that I usually love to highlight, so I'm using the one that I set my under eye concealer with. I'm gonna take Rebel by MAC, and I'm also going to take Candy Yum Yum. I love Candy Yum Yum. I would totally suggest that you start with a liner of some sort. Um, I was just winging it and being very careful not to let it run. But I'm going to apply the Rebel to the outer portion of my lips, leaving the center of them blank. And then I'm going to take my Candy Yum Yum and fill in that center. I love Candy Yum Yum. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. And that is basically it, you guys. All right, you guys, that was the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, there's going to be some pictures at the end with flash so you can get a different view of what this makeup look is like. Um, as always on my channel, peace, love, and I will see you ladies and gems in the next video.